want to get cooler weather, head to the coast. Yes, yeah. go to the coast, dip <laughs> yourself in the ocean, <laughs> and you'd be good to go. I uh, see service temperature is 55 degrees, I so still, still yeah. mm, personally, I would wear a wetsuit, but maybe there's some folks who say no. You know what? Actually, that comes to mind. Um, it was in La Jolla. Uh, near San Diego, uh, for those who aren't familiar, and uh, all year round, granted, the water temperatures there are much warmer compared to what we have in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, but in the winter time, the sea surface temperatures there would get down to about 55 degrees, and people were out there just in the swimsuits doing their swim. So I know it can be done. 90 degrees right now, Vancouver. Makes you want to go to the ocean for sure. Uh, temperatures today are a little bit cooler compared to yesterday. We talked about that yesterday, uh, but not dramatic enough. 95 right now, Bend. Hey, Deschutes River, your temperature there is 65 degrees. Looks like a good time. Lincoln City, 67. And Seaside, also 67 right now with very few clouds out there, just some high level thin cirrus clouds. And out there at uh, Grove Field, look at that. Wind out of the west between about five to 10 miles per hour. Temperatures there in the mid to upper 80s. Wind speeds Pacific City down through Lincoln City between 20 to 25 miles per hour out of the northwest. Red flag warning is in effect until 11 o'clock tonight. That includes places like Parkdale, the west slopes of the Cascades, the Dalles, over to Hood River, and then down through Prineville, Redmond, and Bend, and over to Pendleton as well. It's because it's dry and it's windy, and of course the temperatures are near 100 there. Now, overall, what we're seeing, something else to mention, important if you are heading to the southern part of our state, thunderstorms brewing up right there along the border as we speak. Monsoonal moisture is not only influencing the desert southwest, but it's moving further to the north into northern California and now into the Siskiyous. Now, later on, we go to tomorrow afternoon and a chance for thunderstorms there as well. These are the areas being affected today. Klamath Falls to the south, Grants Pass to the south. Crescent City along the beach and then tomorrow that area expands a little bit further northward. Now we're talking about closer to Lapine just south of Mount Bachelor over to our desert basin as well. Now coastal forecast tomorrow afternoon will get up to about 73 Tillamook, 68 Seaside, Lincoln City, 64 for a high temperature. Low 90s expected inland valleys, so similar to what we're dealing with today temperature wise. Uh, you'll see a few more high level clouds in the mix. Other than that, it's all about the sunshine. East of the Cascades, our temperatures will be in the mid 90s. Madras over to Bend, up to about 90. La Grande, 95. Pendleton in the gorge, 93 for a high. Your morning temperature, 62. So get an early start no matter what you're doing tomorrow. The Dalles, 98. Government camp up to 81. Here are some of your current river temperatures. Willamette River through downtown Portland, still about 71 degrees. Columbia River right around 67, 65 Clackamas, Deschutes 58, Sandy 60 degrees. There's a seven day forecast and you're thinking, okay, when do we get out of the 90s? Well, finally, by Wednesday, we kind of transition <laughs> by Thursday and Friday. Now we're in the mid 80s. Oh, geez. Yeah, we transitioned to the cooler 80s. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Everyone Tasha. Everyone go to the coast. <laughs> yeah. Well, still to come, an